on Aviation Marketing TV. John and I are going to be talking about how to create a great referral offer and also how to uh, encourage your, um, your clients and partners and other folks uh, in your network to, to provide referrals for you, to make that easy for them. Uh, now last week we talked about um, kind of the reciprocity here. Uh, you want to give something before you ask for something. So, you know, if you've established a reputation as someone who gives referrals and somebody who um, is a great host at your dinner party, as we uh, talked about last time, um, it's a lot easier to go to your network and say, we would like your referrals and here is uh, here are the, the, the details of what we're offering and also um, how to find a great client for us. Now, um, I think we've all been in a situation where we've gotten a bad referral. Um, <laughs> I mean, you could say any referral is a good referral, but uh, you know, sometimes people will um, say, oh, this person can help you, and then they call you out of the blue. This has happened to you, John, um, where somebody calls and says, you know, I understand that you do um, aircraft business, you know, and they really don't have any idea what that is or it's something that's so far off the mark of what what John actually does, but uh, it becomes an interesting um, exercise in... Yeah, I uh, at least small aircraft to companies for flight schools and things like that. And I occasionally get the call somebody is looking for a 777. Um, <laughs> and you don't want to laugh at them. <laughs> but by the same token, you have to very gently explain that you can probably help point them in the right direction and uh, so forth. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I think a lot of us, you know, especially if we have a title like Aviation Consulting, um, <laughs> a lot of stuff comes our way that may or may not be our forte, that may or may not have anything to do with marketing or anything to do with, with leasing uh, to flight schools. So, um, one thing you want to do is to make sure that everybody around your table has a pretty clear idea of what exactly it is that you do. And you can do that with a newsletter, you can do that with a blog, you can do that with any number of things where you communicate regularly to these folks. Uh, you know, you can't just sit them down and, and park them in a chair and give them a lecture because nobody has that kind of time, right? Or interest. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But if you give them little, what we call information snacks, uh, that they can pick up from time to time as they have time and they're familiar with your Facebook page and they see some of the examples of what you do, they're a lot more likely to give you good referrals. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is you can actually create materials or create uh, what we call a referral package um, you know, that includes uh, an FAQ of you know, what exactly do you do, how would you recognize a great referral for my company. Um, you know, for ABCI as an example, if somebody is really frustrated with having spent a whole bunch of money on, on marketing and or advertising and they are not getting the return on the investment, that's the best time uh, that somebody would recognize this is somebody that I should refer to ABCI. Now there's something about your company, uh, whatever it is, that uh, is unique and you know that you know people hit this stage just before they become a client. You know, this is the type of problem that they're having, this is the type of thing that they're complaining about. And you can communicate that to the people uh, that you do business with on a regular basis and to your other clients uh, and, and go from there. You know, another interesting thing is that, you know, somebody may not know that you do one of the things that you do. As an example, um, you know, uh, leasing to flight schools. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't know that about ABCI. Uh, you know, they know about our marketing, but they don't know uh, about John's business. Um, it's uh, not the same company. It's actually separate companies, but we mm -hmm. work hand in hand. And um, my intent was to grow the company further than I have, but uh, as we all know, the economy encouraged several of us to hold on to what we had and uh, stand back and watch to see what's going to happen before we invest anymore. So that's exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. Exactly. See, and John owns 2% of my company, I own 2% of his company, so we give each other our two cents worth. <laughs> Sometimes John has to throw in more than two cents. <laughs> but uh, I think you're having fun, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, 
Yeah, basically when you're, when you're giving and getting referrals, you want to make sure that they are accurate and that they are um, appropriate for the person that you're referring to. And another thing that you can do is to create a referral offer. Um, and what this is, is something that reminds your clients uh, and your partners that you welcome referrals and that you will treat them with, with every courtesy and respect um, that is due to a referral. And uh, it also gives them some inclination to remember. Uh, so, you know, when I run into someone else at a trade show or whatever, and I can see that they have a need, uh, and I remember, oh yeah, you know, I could get an iPad. <laughs> or, you know, it's, it's ideal if both parties get something. So if I'm the person doing the referral and I refer John to uh, Fred over here, um, then John gets a free consultation, I get maybe an add-on to a product that I already have, or a flight bag, or a t-shirt, or, you know, something. Um, and um, Fred gets a new customer. So that way everybody wins. And you need to keep an open mind on referrals. They may not be interested in your product per se, but you never know where the conversation is going. Mm -hmm. It could be interesting for both of you in a different business venture. You don't know. Exactly. In fact, uh, you know, everybody in these interesting times, <laughs> may you live in interesting times, I think that's a Chinese curse, but um, everybody who lives in these times understands that what you are doing right now might be very different from what you're doing six months from now. Even if you keep, keep the same business, your emphasis might shift or, uh, you know, the way that you do things might shift. So. Yeah, I read somewhere that uh, if you're in a relatively new business, just remember you're there to learn. Your business should be able to morph into something that's more profitable. Mm -hmm. You have to be open to that as well. Exactly. Which is way off referral, but nonetheless. <laughs> that's okay. But, you know, the, the, the mindset is the same. You know, giving and getting referrals, you have to keep an open mind and, you know, be sure that you are thinking creatively. You know, who is this person uh, likely to do well with in my network? And, um, you know, is this person somebody that I should make a referral for? Or if someone is referred to me and they don't uh, seem to fit right off the bat, you know, listen to them with an open mind and welcome that conversation because sometimes those can be the most profitable. You may be able to put it together with one of your other clients, get those two together, and then the two of them, possibly the three of you, will profit as well. Exactly. So, um, you know, just to recap, uh, today's session is basically about refining those referrals, making them more accurate and more appropriate, and creating a referral offer where people will remember you and also uh, will be motivated to provide those referrals in a way that uh, is lighthearted, but um, you know, and hopefully we'll, we'll make sure that everybody in the transaction gets something of value. So a quick recap, to get more referrals, um, if you want something, you want to give something. Uh, and you want to become known as a person who provides referrals uh, so that you're more likely to get referrals yourself. And great places to start are your own uh, clients and partners, associations you belong to, or people in the marketing coaching program. Uh, now these are folks who obviously are in the aviation industry and have an interest in marketing a product or service. So um, in our coaching program we provide a uh, referral sheet and on that referral sheet we ask uh, questions like how would I recognize a good candidate for a referral f to you and what happens after I refer someone to you so that you know exactly um, how those referrals are going to be used and you feel comfortable or more comfortable making those kinds of referrals even if you don't know each other very well to begin with. Um, we also distribute these referral sheets for each of our coaching program members to any new coaching program members and we also distribute them uh, once a year so that everybody has a complete and updated list. Um, some other benefits of the coaching program are that your staff become the marketing experts and uh, a lot of people on your staff may have been working with your product or service for years. So, um, you know, they know the product and if they know, the more they know about marketing, the better they are able to, uh, to sell it. Uh, so what does the coaching program include? Uh, of course, it includes monthly webinars, Q&As, individual assistance with projects, 
20 page workbooks. Uh, these are not trivial, light little classes. Uh, we send recordings of the monthly webinar, so in case you can't make that particular date and time, uh, you'll have those and you'll also have them for future reference. Uh, we award uh, two hours of continuing education, which is honored by a lot of the professional organizations uh, that require continuing education or professional education. Uh, what clients say about our uh, our coaching program is that they would recommend it to others. Uh, they always say this lesson was a good value for the investment, which is wonderful. And they say it saves a lot of time over figuring this out for myself, which is really what the, the coaching program is all about. Uh, and I wish I'd started sooner. Uh, the sooner you start, the sooner you can start using uh, the great bits of information that can sometimes make a big difference in your bottom line and in the number of sales you make this month. So if you're ready to get started with the coaching program, uh, you can go to abci1.com forward slash coaching. Uh, if you need more information, please download our ebook, abci1.com forward slash coaching free book.